going on everybody welcome back so in this video i'm going to be basically talking about a topic that's been brought up a lot to me and i get asked all the time and it's basically how much did it cost me to build my k24 k20 setup my frank setup whatever you want to call it so i'm going to give you guys a breakdown on what it costs me so prices might be a little different on what it costs you depending on which way you want to go obviously my build was more uh directed towards high performance and racing so that's why some of the stuff i put into it are a little more expensive than what it would cost you but anyway i'm just going to give you a rough idea of what it costs to go k20 k24 i had to write everything down because it's a lot of stuff i didn't even realize how much it was but it's the base it's the overall idea of how much it costs so we're going to start with the block now i didn't get just the block i when i blew my motor uh we took it apart and we just saw i decided to go k24 there and i ended up finding someone selling a k24 with the K20 head already. He was selling it, I don't remember how much it was, 800, something like that, for the head and uh, block. I talked him down to 550. So, let's say, just to get a K24 block, and that also, it varies because you wanna, depending which block you get, if you get the TSX block, that's gonna run you at least 800 just for the block. I think they run like 1100 for the complete motor. So, I have a K24 A4. I believe it is a4 yeah which is the element block so you can actually if you just want this block pistons rods crank everything you could probably get it for like 300 dollars. so we'll say for this block we 500 all right so it's 500 dollars already and just the block if you have obviously you're probably going to have the head if you have an rsx if you don't the head's going to run you about the same it could be like three to five hundred dollars somewhere around there all right now the pistons and rods I have in here, again, you might not need it. If, you, if you're just looking for a K24, K20 mild street build, you don't need the pistons and rods. But for me, personally, the rods I have in here, they, the pistons and rods, I got it as a combo, cost me $850. I got it on real street performance. So there's another $850 added to that. Now, since I got pistons and rods, I got them oversized, half mil. I had to get the block machined. So I took it to the machine shop and to get the block machined, decked, and then I also had them install the pistons and crank assembly and basically build the bottom end and balance it. All, and that included bearings. All of that cost me $800 for all the machine work and assembling the short block. Moving on to the head, the cams I got for my Preonto Stage 4s cost me another $800. Now the head package that I have in my head right now, which is Supertech valve springs, retainers and keepers the only thing i don't have are valves i'm still running stock valves that whole head package costs me roughly 500 dollars on top of that so if you're going k24 k20 setup in an rsx you need to go to a k24 header the header i had or i have right now is a k-tune header and i went with the stainless steel option i think you can get like a, a, a regular steel one or a ceramic one the stainless steel option that i went for uh i can't remember i um, I put down roughly about 450. I think that's what it goes for. You can look for them online. The regular steel is a little cheaper, so you need a K24 header if you're going K20, K24, or if you're just going K24 in the RSX, just because the K24 is a little taller. I think they say it's like three quarters, three quarter inch taller, something like that. Um, so that's roughly it. Whatever that adds up to. Let me uh, let me try to add that up real quick, and I give you a full number. So we are exactly $3,400 just to go K20, K24, turnkey. You know what I mean? And subtract about $800. Actually, subtract about $1,600. You're looking at about two grand just because if you didn't want to go with the cams and have the whole block machined or whatever, roughly $2,000 to go K20, K24. Now, I'm, I also have uh, another section here that I want to throw in there if you're curious about certain add-ons because some people just get the K20, K24, throw it in. Other people like to rebuild it, freshen it up. All right, so now as add-ons, I mean the chain, a new tensioner, uh, gaskets, seals, all that kind of stuff. And you need a post mount, obviously, if you want to go to a K24, you need to replace, which is in this area right here, if you want to replace the RSX post mount to a CRV post mount to make it fit, I'm tallying about $400 in add-ons, a uh, new head gasket included. All of that, it's, it's gonna cost you about $400 extra, all right? So now we're gonna throw $400 into there. 
if you want to change the manifold or talk about my throttle body setup which i have a stock port it's not even ported it's a stock port rbc manifold with a skunk 270 mil throttle body about 500 dollars injectors i'm running rdx injectors so i think they go for about 200 dollars with the pigtails I, I can't really remember you can look it up online another 200 dollars right there and finally to feed all this fuel uh, i have a wall bro 255 pump that cost me about 80 bucks all right so now i'm gonna add all of this up and give you guys an exact no, not an exact a rough number of what it of what my build actually cost me all right i got the rough number and i know this is not everything of what it cost me but uh <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of scary to look at how much you spend after adding everything up because when you do a little by little it doesn't really hurt as much my final number four thousand five hundred and eighty dollars is what i spent on my motor so rough estimate i got about forty five to five thousand dollars alone just my motor fuel setup that's not even included what i've done to the trans axles that's just my like i said that's my number um that's because this car is more like a drag car i i, I built it to go racing if you are looking just for a regular street build k20 k24 setup i i know from experience it's going to cost you about two thousand dollars and just to get it in and get it started oh and then we got a tune i forgot so if we add a tune obviously if you're going to go switch and you're going to want a tune to make sure everything's good and a k pro i forgot k pro all right hang on so we were at forty five hundred dollars the tune cost me five hundred dollars five thousand dollars we're already five thousand dollars now K Pro, depending on what version you get, it's going to cost you about nowadays. If you can get a version three, I think you can get it for six hundred dollars. Version four is closer to eight hundred dollars. So we're going to throw now another seven hundred dollars. Me and know seven hundred dollars. That's fifty-seven hundred dollars. Damn. That's. I mean, if you love racing, it's it sucks, but that's this is my passion. This is, this is what I do. But for you guys, let's we're gonna save about three thousand dollars if you want to go K twenty K twenty four. So I hope that gave you guys a better idea of how much it costs to go K twenty K twenty four. I mean, realistically, it's it's not that much. Three grand. It is a little on the high side, but some the Type R swap costs you five grand just alone. So if you can find deals, don't be afraid to get used parts. You know what I mean? And just like I said, I, I got the block and head used, took them apart, made sure they were good, and got them rebuilt. Whatever I had to do. That's the best that's the best route to do go go use on certain parts on like the chain the tensioners all that stuff you have to go new so make sure when you are going with those like like i call them add-ons make sure you go new you can find a used header used manifold you know you, you can find ways to, to bring that price down this was just a little on the exaggerated side just rough numbers in my head yeah so almost six grand just just the motor alone it's that's crazy that's crazy to think about but i mean that's like again that's that's the price it's the price of racing so i give you guys one look at my engine bay i don't really give you i know i'm, I'm not really good it's not like i try to hide it but i don't really show my engine off too much and i should i, I love the way my engine bay came out because I, I just finished detailing it as you saw in the beginning i was washing this car i'm going to this honda acura mega meet tomorrow tomorrow morning <clears throat> and it's at english town and i i, I kind of have mixed feelings about it i was not really sure if I wanted to go just because it's at English Town and not that I'm I'm salty or I kind of have bad feelings towards English Town but I kind of do you know what I mean just with the whole them closing the drag strip down but they still use it for their Ratchet Fridays and they still use it for drifting and all of this and it, it, it's it's a whole nother conversation so you'll see my reaction I'll, I'll film tomorrow of uh, just going back to English Town and seeing what it's like without drag racing that's besides the point. So I'll just get the car ready. I'm gonna put in the car show, and uh, I detailed the engine bay. It actually came out really good. Let me show you guys. Well, I mean, I kind of really went a little extra in the uh, in the engine bay. I just I really wanted it to look nice. I want people when they see it tomorrow to be impressed. So I, I really tried to uh, clean it up as best as I can. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if you like it. That's gonna wrap it up in this video, guys. I just wanted to give you a. Uh, a quick video and some good info on it basically how much it costs to go to a k to a frank swap i'm gonna just call it a frank swap i'm gonna stop calling it k20 k24 
to go K24 or, could, or to go Frank Swap. That's a basic idea. If you guys have any questions, you know, you can always hit me up on my Instagram. Send me DMs. My Instagram is at the end of this video. Shoot me a message. I'm always there to help you guys out as much as I can. Or if you want to leave comments, I'll reply to your comments. I know I'm uploading this video up a little late, but hopefully I can see you guys tomorrow at E-Town at this Honda Acura Mega Meet. It's the first time they're doing it. So that's why I want to go. I want to see you guys again like we did at Honda Day. Come say what's up. And until then, I will just catch you guys in the next video. Stay motivated and keep making those streets louder.